Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus series. We're jumping in again and who shall we be playing today? I'm kind of maybe feeling a greed run today. We'll see who we get. Forgotten. Eh, no, Forgotten's more fun on a regular run, I think. Forgotten's more fun on a regular run. We've actually done a lot as Forgotten already. How much? Okay, this is this is something we're going to do more regularly. We're going to check the Tainted versus the Normal. And if, it, depending on which one has more completion marks, we'll play the other sort of thing. Uh, we started with the sensor for um, some reason. I'm guessing... Oh, we, we did definitely get an Eden's Blessing last time. The sensor's a pretty good item to start with as well. Pretty good indeed. I'm very happy with that. And I love Tainted Forgotten Man. He's one of my favourite um, characters. He is just so unbelievably unique. It's kind of crazy. This room... Oh, no. Oh, God. This room has... Um, has taken my frame rate and ceased it to exist. Like, genuinely? Oh lord. What is happening right now? You see how slow these balls are moving? That's not the sensor doing that. This room just did not like that at all. Generally, when you're playing as a character that is two characters, which is uh, what's happening here, the, the frame rate is always a little worse, but that was... That was something else. Um, But, good start so far. Good start so far. I love the, uh, the slippy tooth. Although... I don't know exactly if it'll even work with this, but regardless, it gives us a very cute little costume, so. And also, contract from below right off the bat, I didn't really mention that. That's a really, really good get. Um, having it on the first floor is, is going to be pretty incredible. We should be able to get quite a few extra drops with it. Right. We've already got two tinted drops with it, so that's pretty good going. Sadly, no key for that, but let's keep her going. Let's keep her moving. But yes, how is everybody doing on this fine, fine day? It has been really, really hot in the UK recently, so I'm kind of sweating a little bit here. It's it's not it's not too bad, but my god, it's still... It's, I'm not used to it. Oh my lord, this is a good, good start. Okay, I know we've just gone back and back again, so I, I apologize about all the um, non-stop traversal. But, oh wait, it's in this room. But, it's kind of needs must right now. Needs must, so we'll jump along. And the smelter is one of my favorite items in the game. So I'm going to take the smelter first. I would love red stew as well. Uh, so actually saying that, let's, I'm going to say, let's try and get ourselves an extra penny. Because I don't know. I believe, I believe that there's one available to us. Oh my God. This is a little tedious. Um, Yeah, I believe there's, there's got to be one on this floor, hasn't there? Lucky call. That's uh, potentially pretty good for getting an extra penny. There you go. Lucky call lights ten tend to not be that effective, but we'll smell it anyways. But yeah, smell uh, having trinkets appear more often is just fun. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, what is for you the the moment or okay, hello. Um, I'll, I'll take another, why not? <laughs> uh, what is a moment for you that you felt, uh, even if you're a younger person, that you felt you kind of grew up? What is a what is a moment for you that you kind of, like, realised, oh damn, I'm like an adult now, or like, oh damn, I'm not a kid anymore, sort of thing. Um, I know that obviously there are some of you that are watching that might not have that yet. Also, by the way, got some new boss re-sprites. I'll have to see what I think of them. Um, so far, this guy looks kind of cute. Looks kind of interesting. Ooh, that's rather nice. Plus two soul hearts, and we get some um, extra stuff when we lose a soul heart. I like the idea. Uh, but yeah, like, what is what is one of those moments for you? Because, uh, like, everyone has different ones. Uh, one heart... Con ah, no, no, thank you. I don't really see the point in that. <laughs> that is an item, especially for this character, that is an item that is not so good. But generally not an item I'd use anyways. But whatever. Um, I'm going to say, because I think for everyone, those moments come kind of in different forms. I I, I still I still do have, like, I wouldn't say it's trouble, but I still do have, like, a lot of moments where it's easy to forget the age that I am. I feel like that's, like, kind of the case for everyone, though. I think a lot of people can, act, can seem out, outwardly very adult or outwardly very grown up. But in actual case, in actual circumstance, probably aren't so much. Um, or probably don't feel it so much um, in themselves. So that one's kind of a... Ooh, we'll just use that. Uh, so that one's kind of a kind of a weird one. Uh, you, don't, you don't really know. But I think a lot of people tend to have that kind of one moment. Oh, I really, really, really hate finding secret rooms like this. I'm going to go for the regular secret room first. Um, oh, this is also another one that's kind of hard. Okay, let's just line it up. 
really bad at lining these up. Is it, does anyone else have this issue? I find it really, really difficult. Give us another bomb. Damn you. It did give me another smelter charge. I really need another bomb, because then I can, um... Then I can make use of that, uh... What the hell's it called? Boss Trap Root. That's the one, that's the one. But yeah, I've, I've had a few different moments. Like, for, for a lot of people, I think it would be, like, work. Going to work is, is one that could, could very much trigger that when you're like, Oh, damn. I've got responsibilities now. But for me, ooh, mm, no. I was about to say, ooh, Monsoon's Revenge is really interesting, but I actually don't think it's interesting at all. Although, no. Okay. I've, I've, cha I've since changed my mind. Because I didn't think about the fact that we could charge it like this prior to a room. Yeah, okay. That's not amazing, but it's not terrible. So we can kind of, like, charge it up like this, hold it, come to a boss room or a room. Oh, it released it without me throwing it for some reason that time around okay that's 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 a good a good bit of extra damage there i do keep forgetting that i do currently have um red stew active which is of course uh technically i'll definitely take that which is of course technically um giving me a lot more damage for now uh yeah no extra bomb this floor unfortunate would like to go to a second secret room and boss trap room considering we had access to both, or, well, we knew where one of them is and had access to the other. Uh, Twisted Pair? I, I don't know if I've had Twisted Pair as... Oh, come on, game. <laughs> Why are you like this? I don't know if I've ever had Twisted Pair as um, Tainted Forgotten before, but, I mean, it, it can't be bad, right? It literally can't be bad, so I am not a miss to have it. But, yeah, I've not even got into my answer yet. Oh, Freezer Baby's pretty good here. Um. Yeah, like, I think a lot of people tend to have that moment when it's like you first start working. But for me, I don't know, it wasn't really, it wasn't really that. Um, I think it was kind of, I've had, like I said, I've had a few of them. So it's, it's not just, it's not just one solitary moment. Ooh, that'd be nice to grab. It's not just one sol solitary moment, most definitely. Um, I guess I'll take perfection. I mean, smelting it doesn't really do anything for us. I will check the devil deal just because it might, I guess it might have an item that can give us some, um, some HP, but unfortunately not. That, that hand took an awfully long time to drop. Unfortunately, can't open that right now. Right, I want to try and get some extra money this floor. Um, yeah, like, I, as I said, I've had a few of them, but one of them that comes to mind recently is I, I recently had my parents over uh, for my dad's birthday. We went and, uh, oh, by the way, this is a separate story that I will tell after this, because uh, my dad's birthday was great. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, so... Um, while they were over, I was just, we were just kind of chatting, and I think um, we'd actually gone to the like city center just to go for, go somewhere for some drinks, um, and we ended up getting chatting to like a random lady that was there with her kids, just because we like there wasn't really many seats, and she offered us to come sit uh, sit near her, like because there was she had space on the table, so we of course was like, cool, yeah. Oh, I lost perfection. God damn it. Um, that was very quick to lose perfection there. That is unfortunate. Oh, Planetarium. Wasn't expecting that. Thank God I did some extra, extra exploration here. Um, and we get plus one coin, bomb, and key. All hearts, coins, bombs, a 25% chance to spawn as a better version. Um, chance to gain Holy Mantle when taking damage based on the total number of pickups you have. Nice. It's actually going to be really good. And also the visuals for this thing are pretty cool. Uh, I'll also most definitely take that. Oh, I, I, I just realized I could have taken that without even touching the chest. But then again... I do kind of like red chests, so. Yeah, and we got we got speaking to this woman, and she was she was really nice actually. I had a really good conversation with her. But the, uh, my, my my parents, especially my mum, was kind of speaking about how like I moved away to another city, um, and she because obviously she wasn't seeing me as often. It kind of for her, in in basically um, extra red chest, nice. Uh, in basically one visit, like one time of not seeing me to the next time seeing me, she said that she felt like I'd grown up a lot. Um, she felt like I'd like ma matured. Me I think it's mainly because of the because of my new job, um, because I just kind of had to, to to like make sure I could do the job cap capably. Uh, secret room should try and find as well here. Um, yeah, and she kind of said that, um, and I was like, oh, I never really clocked on to that sort of thing. Um, secret room, secret room. Where are you? Okay, there's secret room. I'm not going in it yet because we need to go and get the uh, the mysterious gift first. Yeah, and, and for me, it was kind of like, oh, 
I, I didn't really feel that, but apparently my parents, my dad agreed, uh, like they've really felt that. Um, oh, it does a little animation when it, when it upgrades, and that's interesting. Um, my parents apparently really felt that, and for me, I was kind of like, oh, yeah, shit. I am like 25. I, well, I'm, I'm going to be 25 pretty soon. Like, it's kind of crazy to think. Also, yeah, isn't it weird how, like, once you get to, like, I don't know, I, I felt like it was maybe like 23, you just start forgetting your age. Like, someone asked me how old I was I? I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what? Samson's chain, while not my favourite, actually isn't terrible with this dude. I think it does some extra damage for us, and we can lob it into um, lob it into rocks and stuff. Obviously not the best secret room item we could have gotten, but... Yeah, and it was just kind of weird to think, like, oh shit, yeah, like, I forget how old I am. And, like, <laughs> like looking sort of back over the past um, over the past few months and, like, maybe even past year I've been in this job, I'm like, I probably have actually grown up quite a lot. I mean, I don't feel like I have, but I probably have. J just, like, out of the nature of the work that I do. Because um, it's, it's, it's just more businessy. Like, I think it was about six months ago now, um, my mum came down to see me for, um, for like, the... I think it was it was it was definitely during the weeks I was working. Um, I can't remember when it like when it was or why it was, but it's definitely during the week. And um, yeah, we went to my office because my office has like like the it's like a seven or eight story building, and on the seventh floor there is just this amazing, really posh bar that um, because we're a member of the building, we get like exclusive access to and reduced prices. And like basically any opportunity I have to go there, I go there. And I was like, mum. I have to take you here. It's incredible. Um, and so we, we, we went there and yeah, like I ended up meeting someone that I had, like s someone that I knew there that, that I'd worked with introduced me to someone new um, to the building. Um, and obviously my mum had never really heard me talk work before. And so I kind of had to in front of her and it was, it was a very, she said it was a very like eye-opening experience for her because she never really understood what I did, which to be fair is kind of fair enough because like for a long time I didn't understand what I did. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of tricky. Can you, like, chill out, my dude? Nice. That's a lot of money. And definitely to buy some more HP. Or something, because... At the minute, that's not that's not going so great. I've been uh, getting hit more than I should. Um, I think I'd rather have the broken magnet, I'll be honest. I do love how many trinkets we've already smelted, though. That does make me feel good. I also need to realize now that we have um, we have lost red stew, so our damage is going to be much less than it was earlier, which is weird. Get later into the run, our damage feels like it's less. I will gamble. Okay, whenever there's a double pill, I always gamble because it's like if the second one's bad as well, I just don't take the second one. But if the second one's if the first one's good, I can take two good ones. Always worth it in my opinion. Also, freezer baby, been absolutely amazing here. Damn it. We no longer have, um, we no longer have, what's it called now? May spawn temporary bomb grimaces on first visit of her room. Interesting. That, that seems like it could get me killed to be fair, but, <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it regardless. Yeah, like, everything's getting slowed by the sensor, which I love the fact that it throws with him and not with us. Yeah, so we did get a bomb grimace there. Um, okay, so only, oh no, it, it, it doesn't fire just one bomb. Interesting. We need to be careful of that, because I feel like, that's a recipe for disaster right there. Speed up. Nice. Well, actually, this is... I was just about to say this This, this room is going to save us some bombs, but we have golden bombs, so no, it's fucking not. What? It can up... What? I mean, I shouldn't have picked those up early, but... <laughs> I was surprised by that. Also, there's our HP. Brilliant. Also. Oh wait, why why can't I pick this up? Oh, that's 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 weird. Wait. Is there a ladder on that? I can't tell. I'm gonna gamble. Okay, there was a ladder on it. And we get depression for our uh for our de our good deeds. But yeah, so I had to like kind of talk business and and yeah, it was obviously kind of weird for my mum to, to hear that and and kind of like it was weird for me to be like, oh shit, yeah, she didn't really know what I did and that's the first time she'd ever really seen me do anything work related for my new job. Um, 
which is really odd because I, I never actually worked while, or at least worked any substantial job while I lived with my parents. I did have the odd job. I did a newspaper route, which I wouldn't really call a job. Um, I did a newspaper route for a bit. Okay, it can, uh, can spawn in here as well. Okay, you need to chill out. I don't have to, I just want to say, I don't have to think of this guy. I feel like I'm going to get hit. If bomb grimaces are coming in handy, we got whatever this might be. Spawns three sh Oh, that's really good, but it's an active item. And I really like the active item I have right now. So I'm going to have to say no. Um, but yeah, it, it was weird. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 had a, I had a paper route. Um, and I did work in a takeaway for a little bit. I think I only did that for about six months. That was... I don't know. That was a weird one. I, that, that was a job that... It was like five pound an hour. It was under minimum wage because it was cash in hand. Um, so it wasn't a very legit operation. Um, but it was literally just answering the phones. It was a, a simple ass job. And at the end of every shift, I got free pizza. So like I only did like a maximum of like two shifts a week. So it wasn't like crazy. I wasn't getting a ton. But in any situation in which you can get free pizza, it's a win. Um, but I, I can't remember it. I think, I think I quit when I started uni. I think I quit when I started university, just because I was just like, I, like I definitely don't need the money anymore, and because uh, at university, I, I like I don't know how it works in many other places, but in the UK at least, you get given a certain amount of living allowance um, from the university, uh, for, like as a loan, uh, based on your parents' income. Uh, so um, my parents were on like the lowest bracket of income, so I got the highest amount. But I lived at home with my parents because I was going to university in the same city as I lived in uh, with my parents, which meant that I was paying very little rent. I still paid rent to my parents because I like the at that point I wasn't 18 anymore. They weren't getting child support. If you're not, if your parents um, friendship necklace, okay. If your parents aren't um, getting child support for you anymore and you still live at home, probably should be paying rent. And if you're not offer because <laughs> um it's what well, they say that's that's just a general thing actually i'm not gonna like say to people oh you absolutely have to and you're a dick if you don't because uh, it depends on your situation but especially if you know your parents aren't super well off or you know that like them they'd, they'd be missing that child support money it's always a good idea to pay rent because like you are living there and they're probably buying your food and stuff which normal places in with your rent don't cover so they're actually paying even more for you so it's kind of like it's a good idea. And it, and it also just generally teaches you how to actually live when you leave. I think a lot of um, a lot of people that I've known in the past and just people in general you see online fall into that kind of pitfall of um, their parents just spoon feeding them everything and they kind of grow up to be very useless humans because they don't know how to do anything properly for themselves. Um, I don't know how I got onto this. This is the ramblings of a madman. Um, take you out. Yeah, how did I get onto this? What the hell? I can't remember now. Oh, I was just saying, yeah, I, I like I kind of I had a lot of living allowance because I knew I wouldn't be paying a lot of rent. Um, it was still I was still paying rent, but it was significantly less than what I'd be paying a, a student accommodation. Um, and uh, yeah, so I was just kind of like, well, I don't really need the extra stress of having a job during university. I might as well just focus on my studies if I don't need the money. So I ended up quitting that. And yes, yeah, so I didn't really have any other job while I was living with my parents. I didn't really ever have any other sort of proper job, so to say, while I was living with my parents. Um, so I think for my mum, it was kind of a bit, of a bit of a shock to see that I was like th the way that I was. This, 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 um, what's it called? With contract from below is so good. This uh, planetarium item. It's a really unique idea for a planetarium item, actually. One that isn't, like, damage-based or anything. It's kind of more utility. I like it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, um... There's definitely been some other moments as well. I think, like, my graduation from university when, like, you have to wear the gown and the, the thingy and all that. Uh, when I when I eventually do face reveal whenever that'll be, I think that's going to be a 10k. It, it should be. If, if you guys get me to 10k, I should be doing a face reveal. I've, I've basically said since the day I started my channel that I'd do face reveal at 10k. And, of course, that, that was the worst. I threw a bomb and immediately hit it into myself. Um, yeah, and of, of course, like, now that I've said it so much, many people, especially in my Discord, know that. 
and so they're going to hold me to it. So I probably am going to do a face reveal at 10k. Um, so if you want to try, if you want to see that, try and get me there <laughs> by whatever means you can, because um, that would be really awesome. But anyways, let's check our devil deal real quick here. I don't know what that is. Is that some sort of bomb? I can't quite tell what that is. I don't, I'm not going to take it. Oh, wait, no. There's a bomb underneath it. I think it's Guppy's paw. I think it's Guppy's paw. There's a bomb underneath it. Anyways, let's keep moving on. Um, and yeah, so I do have quite a lot of pictures from my graduation. So I'd have to maybe share some of those on, um, on what's it called? Discord. Because that'd be kind of interesting to show you guys. Obviously, I've not shown anyone that before, so... Well, not sh obviously, I've shown people, but I've not shown anyone through the U through YouTube. That'd be kind of interesting. But yeah, that that was that was definitely another moment where I was like, Oh, damn. I do be adulting, because I'm, like, wearing the whole get-up. Damn, those chests having the secret room item pool is pretty insane. Considering, I do, I do think maybe they should just... Like, I know that they're meant to just be an upgraded... Um, an upgraded stone chest, but I'd maybe like to see those have a double bomb cost. Where they cost two bombs to open rather than just one. Because the pale, I know that two bombs, like for us right now, wouldn't make any difference whatsoever. But I do think it'd make them a little less strong early game, which they, they definitely could end up being. Seems like secret room, doesn't it? I don't know. No. Here comes the sun. Do -do 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 -do. Look at that golden bomb again getting it's just it's just kind of crazy actually okay we can actually buy some familiars now as well how many will we get scary mushroom conjoint is beautiful dead bird is whatever i love those machines I think those machines are great they're very rare which is why i kind of love them if they were more common i think they were a bit overpowered but they se they're seemingly quite rare which i think keeps them in balance keeps them in check Also, having conjoint with twisted pair is just so great. It's just like an absolute barrage every time we swing. That damn depression hit that guy hard. Ooh. Not that that does too much for our current active, but I love this item. <gasps> Interesting. Also, I don't know what you give me, so... I think you can give trinkets, if I remember correctly, so... I'm interested to pay you out. Give me, give me, give me some stuff to believe in. Where else are we going today? We're going Dark Path, okay. There's a trinket. A very good one as well. Come on, fella. Payout more. Wow. That is a great payout. That is a fantastic payout. Oh, Lord. We got some crazy split shots going on now. Something dropped on the floor there, but I wasn't patient enough to check what it was. Thank you, Mask of Infinity, for saving me there. Nice, got a Yera rune. I guess I'll hold on to that. Okay, that was Troll Bombs. That's what we missed out on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's kind of nice. All right, then. Does this bought both of these? Ah, it only blows up one. Still, I'll grab both. Okay, good to go. Good to go. Might be worth yerring those, but I'm more inclined to yerr something that's a bit more useful. Wait a minute, what happened there? Oh, I just wasn't holding my boy. I was like, wait, I'm confused. <laughs> the amount of swings, like, per throw is kind of insane. Oh, God, this coming down mod. Whoever suggested this to me, bless your heart, because it is so useful. I just wish it applied to more things in the game. There's definitely more things that could benefit. Have we done boss rush? We have done boss rush, so we have no need to. We're going to click dark path here and uh, check this out. Hello. Wow, you almost got absolutely destroyed. No lump of coal, though. Bit sad. And we get able. Uh, yeah, no thanks. I would love to take able. He is a sweetie. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yara rune? Where did I put my Yero rune? Oh, it's, it's on the map in the room before this. What did I do? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm confused. How did I drop that? What did I drop that for? Anyways, it gone now. 
Okay. Ooh, money chest. I think it would be it would be a little nice to see the rarity of those chests tweaked a little bit. I feel like they're very common and a lot more rewarding than um, than the regular chest would have been, which isn't a particularly bad thing. But if they're common, then it kind of is, at least for me. I I'm a I'm a bit of a purist. I think I, th I think everyone knows this by now that I'm I can be a bit of a bit of a snob about uh, balance, and I can be a bit bit too much of a purist to the point where I want everything to be vanilla balance. Which isn't always possible, so I do I do completely understand that some people probably don't agree with when I complain like this. <laughs> I just like to make suggestions in case the developers are watching and maybe care. Well, I mean they, they can they can care and also not want to change it. I'm not I'm not saying they don't care if they don't change it. Obviously not, um, or at least I hope obviously. But I I mean like if they if they listen to what I say, if they hear what I say and then think, ah, I could. Uh, Oh, my little ghosts have got little dudes on top of their heads now. What the hell? Um, my little mini Isaacs. They didn't, didn't have them before. Yeah, um, if, if they if they listen to it, hear it, and say, oh, actually, that's a decent idea, then I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be upset. Kind of why I throw these ideas out fairly often. Teeth. So many teeth. I don't know what's the deal with the teeth. They're not even an enemy. Like, you don't have to kill them to clear the rooms. I'm a bit confused about why they exist. They're just there to be teeth, I guess. Hey, Grimaces. Oh, God. Ah! I picked up a bomb. You bastard of a game. <laughs> Those bomb Grimace things are, like... It's a cool concept, but, like, this character is not a great character for it, I'll be honest. And they're really... For a trinket... They are, they are coming up all the time. Wow. It's like every other room at this point. I, I just, I gotta say, like, I kind of only just thought, oh, damn, that's a trinket, isn't it? What in the life is happening with this room? Thank you. Okay, so I just want to test something. If I throw you into that, yeah, if you throw it into it, it creates Mini Isaac's holding him. If you walk into it, it doesn't. Get Skull X. Damn it. My little bomb flies did nothing there. What on that? What in the hell happened to him then? I mean, I'm glad he died for it, but that was weird. Ah, we got the oh crap transformation. Oh damn. This might be like the first time I've had this transformation in a really long time. My god. I, I think it's because there's a modded item that's attached to that, to that synergy, which I didn't know. But that's really interesting. That is, that, that is genuinely might be the first time in this series that I've had that uh, transformation. Unfortunately, we've got to the part of the game now where trinkets are a little harder to come by, or at least proving to be a little harder to come by. More money there. Honestly, though, we, we've got to the point now where we don't need the money. I, I have to say one thing that I haven't stated enough. The collection collection mods are some of the best mods to exist. The All these new curses that the collection that the cursed collection adds super duper ultra top tier like they feel at this point now i've been using for so long they feel so vanilla and so in place and they feel impactful but not in a negative way i feel like the vanilla curses they impact your run and pack the floor but not really in that enjoyable of a way whereas this is like any enemy that spawns, regardless of whether it spawns from another enemy or whatever, can now become a different champion. There's going to be more champions. I think that's a great curse. Absolutely fantastic. It is, like I gotta say, it's so good. They're really, really, really fantastic job with them. And I, I don't state it enough and people don't state it enough. It is it's genuinely so good. There's a harlot heart there. Ow. For a reason you hit me there, game. Wait, where's my Hierophant card gone? I had a Hierophant card a minute ago. I think I accidentally picked up a speed up hill instead. There it is. Hold this just in case. I mean, fortunately, it went big wrong way. So I haven't to go all the way back. God damn. All these split shots. Top tier. 
I think I didn't actually finish that room. I didn't even finish that room. That's so annoying. Dude, don't pick up the solar Samson, please. That's not what I intended for you to do at all. This is weird having the solar Samson in use right now. It can upgrade the Soul Heart to a Black Heart from the Hierophant card. That's just delightful. Now we have a Strength card. Get out of the way. Oh, Troll Bomb's having random fuses messes with me so much. Really, that that's very annoying to be there. Hey, we re we rerolled it with GB bug into a regular bomb. That, it's kind of funny that that's even possible. I th this is a resprite as well, you know. Depression hit you there. Got a nice hit of depression. Beautiful. Depression strikes again. It's a lot of shots backed up right there. I would like to get past at some point. We have not done Hush or Delirium. Check our Devil Deal real quick. Don't think that's going to do too much. That's pretty good, though. And I will take that. And why not take that? I think Hush is a def definite possibility here. Let's go for it. It's going to make me now money's a little more useful as well. Why not? We did get a Dice Shard here. That's pretty nice. And an Ace of Spades. Probably Dice Shard those right now. Probably Dice Shard those right now. Ooh. Ooh. Strawberry Milk. That could be pretty incredible. Um, and I guess we just take Danger Room here. Our way to the Danger Room. Yes. Give Twisted Pairs the upgrades they need. Thank you. Beautiful. Right. Try and get a crawl space here. Oh, wait. Doesn't matter. We can just use the, the wrecking ball that we have attached to us. Interesting premise. I'm going to take it. Seems like a bad idea, but I'm going to take it. Didn't actually lower our fire rate too much. And with, with um, milk, um, strawberry milk, sorry, it's uh, given us 46 damage. I feel is pretty good. And because of strawberry milks, wait, is this a, is this a new resprite of hush that I've got here? Or is this the the one that I've always had? This looks new. I did tell it. I did uh, when I installed this mod tell it not to replace any resprites I already have. This does look new. What's spawning all of these? Oh, is it Danger Room? I think it's Danger Room. I feel stumpy. Yeah, leave him there. Let him do his thing. Oh, it's, it's killing him through his invincibility phase. It's that strong. Maybe the Penetration Up mod affects bosses too. I did not know that. But it seems to be the case because I am hurting him through his... I'm hurting him through his immune phase right now. Look at that. I love that. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. He got demolished. Very demolished. Um, and we are going down. Nice. Yeah, with this damage, we're probably going to be one-shotting most things. More golden bombs. Apparently, we're GB bugging a lot of things, too. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. Where do I stand? Am I good here? I was good there. That was a very quick floor as well. Three, two, one... And plant it. Good timing. Oh my god. Just eviscerating everything here. I one-shot him. Nice.
Yeah, didn't not quite one shotting the feet. Okay, good. Taking care of business there. Enraged soul has been unlocked. Nice. Anything here we might want? No. Nice, we get the red souls as well. Them red souls with this damage are gonna be nutty. Because they deal, I think they deal our damage per tick. I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but I feel like it is. Good on you, Depression. I lost my Holy Mantle. Yeah, danger is so broken on this character, because normally, obviously, you have to be stood in the danger for it to, to do anything. Uh, basically, what it does is if you're near a tier, uh, if you have like a near miss, it spawns items. Um, or it can spawn items, but it works with the skeleton as well, so you can just kind of cheese it by placing the skeleton next to everything. I'm scared. Ah, oh, yeah. Kind of felt like that was coming. Oh my god. Okay, you died via a random explosion. Oh, this is going to be Telefrag City, this. Telefrag City. That was it, okay. Isaac's heart. I doubt that's going to be a good idea. I doubt. I, in, and obviously, Black Card doesn't do anything for us. But yeah, I doubt that that would be a great idea. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what's going on here. We're getting Holy Mantle so often here, it's really nice. Okay, good to go. Boss time. Ooh, the la- Is the lamps re resprited as well? I think it is. It looks nice, though. There you go. Look, Danger Room is just going crazy. And we're right next to the body, so just chill here. Oh, God. Walked quite literally right into that one. Okay, body is dead. God damn, yeah, this, this resprite looks really good. Apparently, there's a really good delirium one in the pack as well. I saw someone say in the comments. Very nice. Like, good to go. And that, that's, that's all she wrote for this run. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Fantastic run. I'll see you guys in the next one.